And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Yamin. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. He is ranked 42nd in his Platinum Division with 1,966 points, 248 wins, and 243 losses. And I love this guy's name. And you'll, you, you should know why. Final Fantasy VII Cloud Strife. I'm just saying... And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Yamin. He is the Blue Terran player in the Northeast. The map is Zalnaga Caverns, second one in a row. Um, this was actually, there was, I checked, there's actually no room between the games. So yeah, I just, I just get these maps in a row sometimes. There's not much I can do about it. Just all of a sudden the game's just like, no, you're gonna play Steps of War five times in a row until you get it do you get it yes game i get it so not my favorite map but if i'm up against if it's a mirror matchup and it's tvt up against another terran player i don't really care what map we go on uh this is a map that does not le do well with early aggressive builds in terms of marines and marauder production uh so i typically don't like it but it's something that I'm used to dealing with. So sometimes I do well on this map, sometimes I just don't. It depends on my opponent and what they go for. And I uh, queue up just a huge thing. Let's take another look at that. Oh, look at all that. That is a huge spider web there. Uh, he is going for the barracks up front. Is he going to be able to block off in time? Because uh, he is definitely going for the block off here. I did go for both Salonaga Towers, so I am behind by about 5 or 10 seconds on that scout. And is it going to be enough? Get in there, SCV! No! Oh, and then he abandons it. I didn't even realize that. So I, I went into his base, tried to get in, and then once I saw that it was fully blocked off, I just sent my SCV packing back home. And he just really went for the, that there. Oh, that was that was incredibly smart, I must say. So I'm not going to be able to get any scouting done inside his base. Not that I could get much done anyways. Um, going for the orbital command. Mine is behind his, it looks like, about 10 seconds, 10, 11 seconds, actually. Wow. So he's got his going a lot faster than mine. Uh, and he's only... Oh, because he's only got one... Nope, now two. Two SEVs on that. That's what it tells me right there. It says two. So, and he's going for a second barracks reactor on the first one. And I don't have enough minerals to cover that right now, it looks like. I, oh, just the second barracks just started right there. And he's got a third on the way. So I don't know where he's getting all these minerals right now. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, he does have... No, we have the same amount of minerals. But he does have that mule out. See, now we're even. So I don't know where all these minerals are coming from, but apparently he has enough for four barracks. It looks like he just hasn't been producing. No, neither have I. I guess I do have enough for, for one more barracks, but still, it's not something that I would go for. I, don't, I assume that you can't support four barracks considering your income level right now that's just my assumption though he is going to need more more uh, supply depots definitely and it looks like he's going in for what is this SUV doing he must be going for the Zelnaga Tower right now though he is down to just three marines I have three as well but I don't have the mules that he does. It looks like I did fall behind on SCV production, probably because I was supply locked, and he does not supply locked because he's 26 out of 35. I'm 29 out of 35, uh, thanks to these marines. Uh, SCV is actually going in for a scouting? You're not gonna get that done. That's right, smolder until you disappear. So he's got, holy crap. Okay, three racks with reactors, a react, uh, a tech lab barracks, and a fifth barracks. On how many harvesters? On 21 harvesters. And no mules. So what is going on? Have I seen any of this? 
I have not seen any of this. Oh, I just scanned right now. So great timing. I'm going to see five racks, two, three reactors, attack lab. Oh, and another reactor, because why not? Why even bother having people on gas at this point? Uh, he is going for combat shield. Uh, which is not the first upgrade you should be going for. You should be going for Stimpak because it will effectively double their attacking... S well, not double, it increases it by 50%, but that is very, very, very important. That is what I'm going for. And Combat Shield, I am getting as well, but his is so much faster than mine. So I scan in and I see all these barracks, and I'm not exactly sure what to think. I'm, well, I realize now that there's absolutely no way that he has an expansion here. But as long as I keep him from getting that, I'm going to win. I'm just going to wait him out. And so that's become my new strategy. Okay, just if you're going to be going for five racks, massive amounts of marines, then I'll just wait you out and, and not let you get the expansion. I am going to get an expansion as soon as I can get enough minerals. So that is why I should have stopped production after this. Yes, there we go. Command center on the way. Combat shield is on the way as well, but he is moving out. He has, once again, just the combat shield upgrade. No other upgrades on these guys. Meanwhile, my units have stim pack and I have marauders with concussive shells. I don't have an engineering bay up though. So I don't have a chance to get the weapons level 1 upgrade. So I'm catching him a little bit out of position, so I will be able to get a lot more shots off than he will in the early game. The early battle here. I definitely have enough to finish the job here. And then I saw those two marines coming in at the end, so I knew that he set a rally point here, so he has nothing left in his base. And five marines are actually going to be going here? I don't have a third expansion, man. Who has a third expansion? But I do spot those guys there, so I stop my Marauders and I move them over. Meanwhile, these four guys are going to be able to take on his entire base by themselves, apparently. Oh, stop, stop, there we go. What are you doing? And now he's got all his Marines down here, so he's still working off five base. Four of them reactored. Uh, still got a t you need to stop. You're not even researching stim pack, so stop mining gas. So I'm just pretty much content at holding him to, to one base here. Uh, he will eventually run out of marines because he won't be able to fund them anymore. He is oversaturated here. He's got 23 SUVs and a mule uh, with two harvesters on the refinery. Once again, not using the gas at all. So I'm not exactly sure what to think here. I'm kind of like, do I wait him out? Do I just let him keep going? I stopped production. I'm not doing good on that right now. I need to get that back up. There's no excuse for that. So I do have a fourth barracks on the way along with the factory. Uh, engineering bay is up. And I do have weapons level one on the way, getting a planetary fortress here. Because I always get a planetary fortress there. And holy crap, that is a lot of marines. I do have quite a bit myself, but they are split in half, more or less. Um, I don't have them all lumped together there. Um, but how many is that? 50... 49. Good lord. Now he has 51. He's got 51 marines. Do you have an engineering bay? No, of course you don't. Why would you need an engineering bay? No, just a massive ball of marines will always win. Doesn't isn't that how it works? No? What? Blasphemy. So I do have five racks up now. I'm starting to catch up on the minerals and gas somewhat, not so much the gas. But yeah, what do I do with 61 marines? So I scan inside his base to double check what's going on. No, he doesn't. I assumed, okay, well, he's going to be going for banshees, obviously. But no. So I see that these guys are moving down. So I assumed that he had a rally point set uh, somewhere near my base. And he was moving in for attacking him. So I was going to be sneaky, sneaky. And go inside his base when no one was there. But they were all hanging out at the weirdest spot I've ever seen, really. So now he's moving out with all his marines 
what am I doing to counter this? I am getting Siege Tech and a Siege Tank going for Marines and Marauders. Weapons level 1 is going to be finished by the time they get there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Weapons level 1. Armor immediately following after that. I do have a Planetary Fortress up. So that should be doing massive amounts of damage to these guys as well. It does, especially since he doesn't even seem to notice that it's there or that it's doing any sort of damage to him. So this Planetary Fortress is going to win it for me, it looks like. How many kills did you get? 16 kills! And he is down to just 12 Marines. And he still has one on the way here. Don't know if he caught that one. He has four hanging out next to the Zelnaga Tower, but not close enough to use it as one of the worst spots on the map, apparently. So he's still got a ton of minerals in his gaze in his base and by a ton I mean 2,000 and that's about it whereas I've got about eh, about a ton in my base too maybe a little bit more than that but I've got an expansion going and I'm taking out the guys at the Zalmana Tower moving out this guy is he has no kills yet he does have siege mode fully researched I'm still going for Marauders siege tank uh, going for the weapons, uh, sort of armor upgrade, going for two star ports here. Not because I want Banshees, but because I want Metavax. But he leaves the game before I even get inside his base. He's, he's completely, well, this is why he hasn't, he's, oh, how many? 27 SCVs, so he had 24, and I assume that he took three off of here. Oh, uh, how's his income doing? Yeah, it's doing crap. Yeah, that's what you would expect. Um, so, just a, a word of warning for you. Don't go for five racks with four reactors. Um, I was <laughs> very surprised when I came into this game, uh, or when I left this game and I checked my opponent, because I always check my opponents now. I don't, I'm don't. i falling into a habit of that. Do you guys check your opponents like immediately after? Uh, the game. That's what I've been doing lately. So I went and I was like, "Wait, this guy was platinum. This is this is like a bronze build or a silver build. I don't know. Maybe it was just a new thing that he was trying, but it did not work. Massive amounts of marines with really just the combat shield upgrade do not work. You need stim pack at the very least. Weapons level one at the very least. You know, look, it does one more damage." So if there's six of these guys, it pays for itself. That's, uh, I just don't understand not getting that. Um, Planetary Fortress is probably the hero of this game, giving me 16 kills in a very important battle. Um, I'm doing okay in terms of minerals and gas. Yeah, two star ports still on the way. Still getting the siege tanks out uh, because, you know, Siege tanks can pretty much one-shot uh, Marine if he's stimmed up, and even if he's got the combat shield. So yeah, that's the game. Very strange game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.